it is uh, necessary for all human beings to live together in peace but there are conflicts which are based on the ongoing historic circumstances that have to be reconciled before peace can come about because uh, there are communities have some grudge that this community did this a hundred years ago but they did this a thousand years ago and it goes on and on and on so we have a situation here where the um, the, the Islamic people of today they are not responsible but their ancestors hundreds of years ago uh, invaded uh, that place Ayodhya and uh, deliberately as an act of aggression built a big mosque on the one of the main holy places of the Hindu faith you see so many persons in the Islamic community say actually this is not reflective of our religion or our beliefs huh? in fact uh, two days ago I met with the chief Imam of the whole of India and uh, we discussed the importance of the um, all the religions of the world religious leaders coming together and uh, glorifying God having kirtan because the glorification the articulation the vocalization of the praise of God is a central feature of all the religions of the world and it purifies us and uh, so uh, we'll be making more programs together I can give you a report of this as well photographs everything uh, about the interreligious dialogue interreligious dialogue is extremely important do you know why because dialogue is a substitute for violence if we don't talk we will fight uh -huh. hmm. when we cannot talk with each other that's when it becomes physical so don't think the dialogue is uh, not important because the alternative is very dire and uh, has uh, terrible consequences for everyone so dialogue is very important and many persons in the Islamic community have said an injustice was done in the past which was not really in keeping with the peaceful precepts of the Islamic religion and therefore this situation has to be reconciled now someone say, may make a, an argument that actually this is a discrimination against the Islamic community to close their mosque or make them move somewhere else but there's no discrimination whatsoever it is only a question of um, fairness and uh, resolving the conflicts that were created by a previous generation. If we look at the history of the human race, then we can be ashamed to even be human beings. Huh? <laughs> so at least in this generation, we can look back at history and say, can we do better than what was done in the past in this regard? So reconciliation is necessary. And the reason why the closing of the mosque or its relocation to another place is completely fair is because if you go to Mecca, to Medina, to the main holy place of the Muslims, you will not find a temple of Lord Ram there. Yes. So if they want to keep their mosque in Ayodhya, uh, we can agree if they agree to build a big temple of Lord Ram in their holy place also. <laughs> of course they will not agree and even we don't want it. We don't want it. Uh, but uh, a culture, a culture means the shared world view of a group of people uh, within the uh, boundaries of a particular area. If within one area all the world views are piled together, no one is sharing anything, then you've actually destroyed culture. So cultures need uh, some space mm, to to manifest itself, and so. Um, the, uh, it is not um, a fanatical or anti-Islamic conclusion to, um, m uh, to reclaim the, the sanctity of the holy place of Ayodhya uh, in accordance with its original history and the culture of the people there. And actually, it's a great opportunity if the Islamic community accept this they say oh as a gesture of reconciliation 
for the past wrongs, we will peacefully relocate to another area which is perhaps more connected with our history and not so much uh, imposing upon your history, then that will be like, as we say, extending an olive branch of peace uh, to the world. And it will very much um, uplift the image and the acceptance of Islamic culture for those who are from other cultures. So this is actually a good opportunity uh, to promote. It's not an opportunity for a conflict. It can be. But it, it's also an opportunity for reconciliation, forgiveness, and to make a paradigm, a model, how similar conflicts can be resolved in the future. So this is good for everyone. Aapun mangal, da.